Now at the top of the program, we were telling you about this. It's been one week since protesters disrupted a Columbus City Council meeting demanding changes after two deadly police shootings here in Columbus. NBC4 was live inside council chambers as the group took a knee during the national anthem, chanting the council began its regular agenda meeting very briefly and then was forced to adjourn. The protesters eventually moved outside of City Hall, saying they want justice for Tyree King and Henry Green, another man shot and killed by Columbus police. Both cases still under investigation. Well, right now, NBC4's Olivia Fecto is walking with a group of protesters on their way to Prosecutor Ron O'Brien office and we join her live for the latest. Olivia? Yeah, those protesters just arrived here at West Mountain and South High Street where the prosecutor's office is. Just a few minutes ago, you can see dozens of them have gathered here on the corner. They're yelling, Black Lives Matter, turn up for Tyree. We do this for Henry, of course, referring to those two victims of police-involved shootings, Henry Green and Tyree King. These people marched down from City Hall where Harrison Hope was with them earlier this afternoon. They marched down Broad and High Street, chanting the whole way. They are here now trying to speak to Prosecutor Ron O'Brien. And as Harrison will tell us in just a minute, one of the demands that these protesters Protesters have been pushing since two weeks ago at the city council meeting as they want an independent prosecutor to look into these police involved shootings. Again, last week, protesters took over the city council chambers because they said the council wasn't responding to any of their demands the previous week. We will be here as this protest goes on. For now, we'll toss it over to Harrison Hope, who was with these protesters earlier at City Hall. Harrison? Yeah, Olivia, let me show you. This is the letter that the People's Justice Project, the group protesting right now, is set to deliver to Franklin County Prosecutor Ron O'Brien. It is just a one page statement. Notice we are quiet on the steps of City Hall now. That was the podium that the People's Justice Project organizer, Tammy Fournier Alsada, addressed her followers at. And she was joined in a sign of unity with all seven Columbus City Council members today. Council President uh, Zach Klein offered his words as well. Uh, this uh, coming together after it has been mentioned several times just one week ago, Columbus City Council meeting interrupted. I had a chance to catch up with Tammy when she was done delivering her remarks and she said, you know, this process is not complete. Our quest for justice continues. And so our plan is to direct our energy and our attention and our demands to Kim Jacobs and Columbus Police. Our plans are to direct our questions to Ron O'Brien's office. We're troubled by the fact that no police officer has ever been indicted as long as he's been in office for the killing of one of our citizens. And I'll tell you, I had a chance to sit down with Prosecutor Ron O'Brien today. We're the only station in town that got to go one on one with Prosecutor O'Brien today about that and about the steps that he has in place already within the prosecutor's office to make sure that these police involved shooting cases are independent and uh, free of, you know, working with police. So it is an independent voice, he says and an independent uh, grand jury as well who sits on these cases. We'll hear more about this process of uh, potential indictments and how he methodically goes through this. That's coming up all new tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, I'm live on the steps of City Hall. Harrison Hove, NBC4. Harrison, thank you. You can count on continuing coverage tonight throughout our newscast as well as online at NBC4i.com.